I used to change his diapers. Oh. <laughs> I used to and, wipe that ass. Well, guess what? <laughs> guess this? what? He used yeah. to clean my shit, okay? <laughs> when he got shot and he had a cast all over, like from here down, there was like a metal bar in between his legs and I had to carry him to the bathroom too. So payback is a bitch. <laughs> so payback is a bitch. <laughs> See, life always makes you pay back. So, I have so a he tasted yeah. a little bit of that too, you know? Exactly. <laughs> so I have a funny story. Okay. Uh, my first fight in Pride, okay? First, I didn't know. He never tell, told me where I was gonna fight. I just asked him, can you get me a fight? He said, yes, I got you a fight. Come to US, I don't, I don't trust. I don't trust you. You're lazy. I'm like, no, man, I'm not lazy anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm not lazy kid, I'm lazy kid anymore. So I came to the US and of course he started to train me. There's a video online you guys are gonna see that he asked me to shove my roll in my ass. Essa tua cambalhota aí, tu pega e enfia no cu essa porra. Que isso aí não vale de nada, bicho. That role saved me in a bunch of jiu-jitsu fights. And it was the first time that I was training in MMA. And of course I was using that role, you know? And again, of course, I, he, got, he cursed at me, stop jerking off and this kind of stuff. <laughs> we get okay. to pride, we get to pride. We all train, see moves. When I look, he's on a speedo, <laughs> in a pool, on the sun, with a earphone. Dancing. I just I finished. wanna push him in the head. I just finished. I just what? finished fucking swimming for half an hour. It was not that I was in the sun. Oh, I was yes, I was there hanging out. Eat what? a full dance. Yeah, no, I I Wait, you're not going to a party. I did, I did, I did work hard. I did I did uh, fucking man. train before I that. No, so I ate if one day I had gray hair, these kids gave me. <laughs> they gave me that shit. It was not me, it was not me. So tell me the story. So I, again, I didn't know there was fighting pride. And then when he told me, of course, I was uh, so happy. So we go to Japan, train, uh, go to, to the fight. He actually fought same night. And then he fought and came to corner me. Uh, I made sure that I fought first so I could Yeah, so them. he could corner me because oh, he was okay. going to be the main event. What are you talking about? Exactly. I was the main event. What are you talking <laughs> about? You, were, you fought first. It doesn't matter if it's first or last. So as we're walking to the fight, I hear noise of camera and is on the video, like they're talking in Japanese. Mm -hmm. And of course, I see a picture of me with the gi, but then I see some flashes, like, you know, noises like pictures. And I look up and I see the screen pictures from when I was a model. <laughs> and when I'm looking, I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, where do they get those pictures from? So I look at hands and he goes, you're gonna get your fucking face smashed. <laughs> Why are you so worried? You know, why are you worried that you're gonna fight now, motherfucker? I said, who gave them those pictures? He goes, I did. <laughs> now, get ready for the fucking fight. So, again, I go, I fight. Uh, the first round, first round is over. I get knocked down. On the first fucking minute of the fight, I get knocked down. And then I hear Henzo calling my name Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Are you all right? I'm like, why he's asking me if I'm all right? And then when I came back, I was holding the guy's leg and I hear him screaming, are you all right? And I look at him and my fucking eyes are going like this. So first round was over. Like uh, I, I actually turned the fight around in the first round, but we went to the second round and he's putting cold towel on me. And he's like this, man, I'm so, I, look, I never felt that heat. It was 10 minutes round. I was so hot. And then when he put the towel, he put a cold towel on me. It was the best feeling ever. And as he's going like, look at me, look at me. I'm looking up to the screen, you know. And they I was... are showing his face on the screen. <laughs> he's looking, he begins fixing the head. It was just one I side, swear. it was just like that. <laughs> one side was <laughs> looking good. Yeah. I have to, I have to yeah. put up with that. It was like, it was my, my <laughs> eyebrow, I was thinking my eyebrow, it was like, Motherfucker, look at me! Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna be looking at that screen again, I'm gonna push you. That's a, that's a funny story. It was like, let me tell you, best experience of my life, like to, to debut in the event that big, you know, with hands on my corner, that was uh, that was amazing. That was, I'm gonna take it that. Uh, it was so amazing life. that he keeps giving me trouble too today. <laughs> oh, man. I'm never gonna let you free. You see, <laughs> what I really like on him is that he believes and he he embraced Jiu Jitsu as a way of life. And he's been passing that phone. He's been forming amazing champions, amazing fighters. You know, he's I learned, I learned the best. He's very successful and it's amazing to see that. You know, to see him embracing our way of life, our way of changing people's future. That's why I like him so much. Still, if this motherfucker tried to fix their hair looking at the screen, <laughs> I was still gonna punch him. I can't, I can't help. <laughs>